Okay, here we go. We're trying to record a signal from laptop one, which is a MacBook Pro 13 inch 2011. It's got um, a Thunderbolt adapter for HDMI. It's running through the Thunder uh, Blackmagic uh, Intensity Shuttle Pro uh, Intensity Shuttle uh, Thunderbolt and into laptop number two. Now we can see the settings on laptop number one. It's set up for 1080i. It's set up for 50 hertz on PAL, and I have the same settings over here in Login Capture on Meter Express. If we go into our system preferences for the Black Magic, we can see that uh, the input is set for HDMI video and HDMI audio. Uh, even if I change that to RCA, um, HDMI video and analog RCA audio, it doesn't make any difference. I'll go back to HDMI audio. I'm only trying to record the video at this stage. So set default video as HD 1080i 50. And in the Media Express, the same thing. I'll set up the preferences for HD 1080i. Uh, that's for the project video format. And I've chosen QuickTime DVC Pro. Not sure if that makes any difference. But I don't get any image there at all. Um, now, I have tried this on um, each of the different settings. Um, for instance, if I go to 1080p and um, we wait for that monitor to change, I'll gather the windows again, choose the BMD HDMI, and like let's make it say 30 hertz. So it's 1080p on 30 hertz. And um, just to show you that again, gather the window so you can see. Um, it's interesting to me that it recognises that it's the black magic design that it's outputting to. So at this point, laptop number one recognises it's outputting to a BMD HDMI. It's on 1080p at 30 hertz. So that's all great. I'll close that that window, and I'll come back over here to laptop number two. I'll go to the preferences again for the black magic. Now the fact that I have um, the the menus here means that it recognizes that the the shuttle's plugged in and um, I'll just change this down here. I know you don't have to do this but it's just to show you that it's working on that end. It's um, 1080p 30. I'll shut that and I'll go to the black magic uh, preferences and I'll change it to 1080p 30 and shut that and again I still don't get any window if I go back to laptop number one again let's start up some software here that say to, uh, for argument's sake to output um, a bit of video and um, I'm using a program called Resolume um, it has an output um, window here it's telling me that it's going out to display number two on the 10 1080. Um, I'll just get a little bit of a... That's the output monitor. That's what I should be seeing on my second laptop, but I'm not. Let's have another look over here, just to show you. There's absolutely nothing there. It's a blank screen. Now, let me show you something else. If I just unplug the HDMI here... Oops! And I take this HDMI over to my television. I'm plugging, sorry if you can't see this clearly, um, I'm plugging the HDMI cable into the back of the television here. And remember that was on 1080i. Oh, look at that. Television can see it. Television's pretty clever. Wish the um, the Thunderbolt um, Black Magic Shuttle would play ball like the television will, and that's with just plugging it in. I haven't even started fiddling with the settings. I can assure you that I have tried every setting on this Thunderbolt. I've tried it on 1080p at 25 frames, at 30 frames. I've tried it on 1080i on 50 frames per second. Every time I make the settings the same on the laptop number one as the laptop number two, and I'm not getting any joy. So, yeah, um, this is a real problem for me that I would really like to solve. Thanks for your help. Thanks for looking into this.